James Coy from Old School Wheel. Today we'd like to show everybody how to correctly measure the bolt pattern on a custom wheel or on a vehicle for that matter. Today we'll be talking about five lug uh, applications or five lug wheels. Normally here at Old School Wheel we mainly work with five lug wheels so in this case today we'll be talking strictly about five lug wheels. In order to measure a five lug wheel accurately and correctly there's a couple things that we want to understand. We want to understand what is a bolt pattern and how it's made up, or what it's composed of. In this case, the bolt pattern is made up of five lug holes that are drilled in the center of a wheel. Um, these five lug holes are spread out into different spreads. Um, there's a lot of different lug bolt patterns, or lug patterns or bolt patterns that exist in five lug, everything from five on 100 or five on four, all the way up to the new five on 150. Um, also, there's, uh, there's a lot of different bolt patterns in between there, but today we're going to talk strictly on how to measure those correctly. Now, here uh, we have a wheel that's face down that we're going to measure the bolt pattern on. Um, it's going to be very simple, but uh, real quick, um, on the wheel that's down here that's face down, um, you will see that I've drawn, a, with a black permanent marker, a circle that goes through the middle of each lug hole. These uh, lug holes are drilled on the center of that circle. Okay, so when we do measure a, when we measure a bolt pattern, we want to know A first, the first measurement, or the first number is in this case five, because there's five lug holes drilled on this circle. The second measurement that we want to find is the diameter of the circle that runs through the middle of each lug hole. So if we could cut this circle directly in half, we would know the measurement of the second uh, number in our bolt pattern. For example, this is a five on four and a half wheel, a wheel that has a bolt pattern of five lugs on a four and a half inch circle. Okay, so to, to measure that correctly, um, the way that we have to do it on a five lug wheel is we need to measure from the center of one circle of one lug hole, skip a lug hole to the center of a second lug hole. Okay, so we're not going to measure from center to center, we're actually going to measure from center skipping a hole to center. Okay, So in doing that, we'll place our ruler or protractor here, um, our ruler, and what we're going to try to do, and it can be a little bit difficult, but we're going to try to line up that zero right in the center of that first lug hole. Okay, Then skipping a lug hole, we're going to go over to the next lug hole. Now when I place that in there, real quick and I measure that lug pattern from zero it comes to four and a quarter in this case now again like I said this is a five on four and a half bolt pattern the reason being is that when we measure from center of one circle from one stud hole to the center of the other stud hole we are not cutting this circle completely in half okay so on a five lug wheel, we need to add one quarter of an inch. So when I measure that and I come up with five lug holes with the four and a quarter spread in between the two lug holes, I add one quarter of an inch. Okay, so again, center of one stud to the center of the next stud and add a quarter of an inch. And that's for five lug wheels only or five lug vehicles only. Okay, so one more time, we'll just kind of quickly run through it. We have five lugs on a circle and what we're trying to find out is the diameter of that circle. So we'll again place down our ruler in the center of that first circle and measure to the center of the following circle and we come up with four and a quarter inches. We add our one quarter of an inch and we have our bolt pattern of five lugs on a four and a half spread. So. Uh, that's how we accurately uh, and correctly measure a bolt pattern. That can also be done on the vehicle. When you have uh, the wheel off the car, you can measure from the center of one stud to the center of another stud. And when you do that, you add the quarter of an inch and you'll come up with your bolt pattern. To go through a couple examples, if you measure five, if you measure four and a quarter inches, you add a quarter of an inch, you'll be four and a half. If you measure four and a half, you add a quarter, you'll get four and three quarter. If you measure four and three quarter, you add a quarter, you get five. So uh, your Chevy trucks uh, will be a five five lug Chevy truck 
with a four and three quarter spread, you add a quarter of an inch and the bolt pattern is five on five. Your Chevy cars, you'll measure it and it'll come out to four and a half inches. You add a quarter of an inch and the bolt pattern on a Chevy car is five on four and three quarter. And late, uh, last, on Ford vehicles and Chrysler vehicles, Dodge and Mopars, when you measure the center of one stud to the center of another stud, you'll come up with four and a quarter inch. You add a quarter of an inch and you'll come up with four and a half inches which will give you the five on four and a half bolt pattern. So um, thank you for watching. That's how we accurately measure for the correct bolt pattern on both a wheel and vice versa on a car. We appreciate you coming to koiswheel.com and we hope to help you in the future.